One thing I like about um, commercial games is the quality of the tokens that you get. So these are the tokens that you get from Gloomhaven, um, Jaws of the Lion. So you know you get these really thick card tokens, which give that real tactile feel to playing board games, which I really like. And so the thing is though, that when you do that, you end up with punching all these out and you have all this kind of scrap. And you know, it's got lots of holes in it because you've used it and you've popped out um, the tokens that you want. And I got thinking that you know, this is quite high quality card. And if I'm building print and play, can I use this to make tokens? And that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'll, that's the topic of my video today is how I can use, reuse these scraps from other board games to make myself some semi-reasonable tokens. Um, so that's what I'm going to go through. Of course, it does depend on the token size because if we're going to be reusing these bits of card, um, obviously we're not going to be making huge tokens. But the current game that I'm building at the moment is um, Do Not Go Gentle by Martin G. And that has these relatively small tokens. And so I'm going to go through now um, how I'm going to reuse some of these boards and make some reasonable tokens out of it. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a highlighter pen, a glue stick, and something to cut up. So I use a Fisker um, card trimmer. And so the first thing you do is you, once you've printed out your um, set of tokens, which you see I've already had a go at these ones, um, you just trim them off, which is fairly easy, um, and cut these up into the tokens themselves. I was going to laminate them, but the trouble with laminating is if you've got laminated boards, laminated tokens, um, they get very slippery. And again, I really like that that physical tactileness that you get with proper tokens. And you could put it on normal board, but I thought, well, why not reuse the boards we've already got? So we just go through and we chop these up into cute little, well, the tokens that they are. And we'll just go through those. And I'm not going to do too many because it's all much of muchness. So we end up with our cardboard, our token. Then we grab one of these and our glue stick. And you know, maybe have a look and see where we can put them in. And when I first looked at these, I thought, well, there's some obvious spaces where we can put some glue some tokens on. Um, but there's also some non-obvious ones like... Here, if we put our token, well, in this case, it looks like, no, it won't fit straight. But if we do it diagonally, um, we can get a token in there. And so you just get your glue stick and you put a liberal amount of glue on this using just a boss stick, glue stick. And there you go. We've got a token on there. Um, and we leave that to dry. Um, I've got some that I've done previously. We turn this over. And you can see I've got a couple down there. This one, I'm finding all kinds of places where I can get cardboard coverage of my tokens. And this one's this was a great one. Lots of diagonals. Um, and then it's just a matter of getting your scissors, um, maybe trimming it out a bit roughly, just to. Get your token out, and then it's just a matter of trimming it off. And you need a decent pair of scissors, but if you're doing print and play, hopefully you've got a decent pair of scissors anyway. And you just cut off your token. And if you've got some spaces that you've aligned your token to, you probably have a little bit less to cut. Okay, so now we've got our token, and it's got kind of white edges, and so that's where you get your marker. And you get your marker, and you just go along the edge. And... 
guess if you're really keen and you had lots of different colored markers, you could match the mark color to the edges. So this one I'd probably do blue, but I don't have any blue markers. So I'm just gonna do mine black. And there you go. And I'll show you something I did earlier. That was, that was escaped. And I'll zoom in a bit. And so you end up with these nice chunky card based tokens would go really nicely on my laminated boards when I finish those um, and we're reusing this card that otherwise I would have just binned. Hope you found that interesting. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like.